Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 391. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. And news this week is going to be a bit slow. Um, there's four news to talk about, but all of those news are intertwined. So it's basically going to be a really, really fast one. So anyway, let's hop right into it. So we've all seen this uh this is was this was on the facebooks and whatnot and um strange image appear on my little pony facebook page i first saw this i was wondering what the he is this this looks fine this looks cute uh fan work i saw who posted it and it was the mlp official facebook page yes so as time goes on, we get to see more, and yeah, it, it reveals the ponies looking like this. And <laughs> uh, as we go on, we are revealed that hey, there's a new animation coming out in 2020. So. Uh, if you guys seen the video, I highly recommend go look at it because it is a lot of... It's interesting. It's interesting. And uh, one of the few news that we got here is that um, all of the VAs are reprising their role. So that's good. And other than that, we got no idea. The animation style looks interesting too. And as we go on, there is a press release. Um, EQD got the press release and it's released down here. So might as well read it for a bit. Um, <clears throat> so what the show is, is called um, My Little Pony Pony Life. Sorry, My Little Pony Pony Life. And, you know, I'm just going to read it. Uh, so here it is. My Little Pony Pony Life is an all new animated series produced by Hasbro Hasbro's All Spark Animation launching in 2020 with a robust production line inspired by the series and available from selected retailers this winter. Okay, so more toys. That's that's about right. That's about right. The main six characters fans fell fans fell in love with in My Little Pony Friendship is Magic are back with all new character design inspired by chibi style animation. The My Little Pony Pony Life series launched next year with all new content premiering on Discovery Family and Discovery Family Go. Oh, give a second. Oh my god. Sorry. And short form uh, and short form content on the My Little Pony YouTube channel. Uh, My Little Pony Pony Life features the same voice actors who made the main six famous in My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. The new look for the franchise kicks off this winter with an exciting production line featuring toys designed to reveal the magic is friendship with the comical character comical characters and mysterious pose poise that are oh wow that are featured in the animated series the new line that wow okay um long story short this one toys yep toys november 13 are going to be in stores yep toys we are thrilled to reveal the magic chapter magical chapter of for the My Little Pony franchise and it's funnier, sweeter and warmer than ever, says Samantha Lomo, President Hasbro Entertainment Brand. Our magical My Little Pony makeover is inspired by our fans who are looking for more ways to express their favorite characters from the My Little Pony world. We are also bringing the magic to life with all new ways to play so our fans can experience the magic through engaging 
new products. We hope fans of, of all ages will enjoy exploring a fun new side of friendship and all the new stories Magic My Little Pony Pony Life has to offer as we gear up for the launch of the new My Little Pony movie from Paramount on September 24, 2021. The My Sorry, the new My Little Pony Pony Life show looks at the funniest side of friendship. The new character of the world is the new char- the new mm-hmm. the new center of the world is Sugar Cube Corner. Just like going to a friend's house after school. This is our pony's home away from home. Here Pinky Pie serves up frosted cupcakes to the best customer in the world. Her friends Pony Life episodes features hilarious slice of life shorts that modern kids can relate to. The series is loaded with magic including a mysterious source of mysterious source of potions that Pinkie Pie sorry that Pinky keeps hiding behind the bakery counter and breaks out when oh wow okay <laughs> Woo. Mm. that was my first read and in all honesty it is an interesting concept that what <laughs> with what they are doing I gonna hold my full judgment for when I see the show because as per usual when people uh, take a look see at My Little Pony they bash it because oh it's a kids show oh, it's gonna be girly then when they saw it oh, they became fans for this one I'm gonna hold the same judgment too but a few things concerns me the start of the whole line uh, especially what this line here the new franchise blah 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 it's it sparks how what, what, what hmm. a nice there's there's no way going around this but it sparks greed like i felt like they only did this just because they wanted to sell more toys in a different way and you've seen the sum of the toys they showed them on eqd more chibi style more interesting kind of look but it feels like for this one i felt like they just did it just because they wanted to sell more toys granted that's what the show has always been from the very beginning so no complaining here but this one it felt blatant (laughs) but knowing the crew who did the show uh, there was a lot of love put into this, so let's just hope for the best. Uh, other than that, uh, ha- having the show f- mainly focusing on size of life, I think that was one of the few things that Hasbro wanted the show to be from the very beginning. With uh, when when Lauren was in charge, <laughs> if I was if I remember right, um, the show Lauren wanted to do was. A weekly adventure where the ponies would go from point to point or just go from adventure to adventure while Hasbro wanted it to be a slice of life and uh, we got a compromise and that was the show and I would say that that was a really nice compromise it, it, it was a really good show in a sense I like it but anyway uh, for this one oh man Mainly focusing on slice of life. Here, here's the big here's a big problem for it, for me. The characters here, especially Twilight, is shown to be an alarcorn. There's no problem there, uh, but the only thing is, when in the timeline is this place in? And okay, they have a picture of Spike, and he has no wings. So does this mean the story is told before season? Eight? Was it season eight? I, I think so. So, so where in the timeline does this slot in? Because some of the characters that we love and know have grown up, have developed 
and have matured. So this tells me that our favorite characters are just going to be in a full array of hijinks. The best example I can compare it to is Teen Titans Go, unfortunately. Uh, that, that's the vibe I'm getting from here. And it's not that I think that MLP uh, Pony Life is going to be that way, but it feels that way. But I'm sure that we're gonna get good quality out of it. Uh, I hope so. But other than that, uh, man, there's not much that I can say without really going into the show and watching it. But uh, on a positive side, we are going to see another side of the characters, especially the VAs. I'm, I'm going to bet that the VAs are going <laughs> had a lot of fun recording the lines. And yeah, like they, they had fun. I, I'm guessing that they had a lot of fun doing the show, uh, saying things that aren't normally what they say because judging by the looks, I'm guessing Pinkie Pie is going to be more insane. Rarity is going to be more frou-frou. And Rainbow Dash is just going to... I got no idea what Rainbow Dash is going to do. And Fluttershy, I don't think she's shy anymore. I think. I don't know. We'll see. I've seen gifts of her. She has wiggly arms or hoofs. Yeah. So, it's a wait and see approach for this one. Other than that, what are your guys' opinions on it? Do comment down below in the comments below. I, I would love. I would. <laughs> I would love to know what you guys think about this. And how honestly? Um, I'm neutral. I, I'm neutral with this one. Neutral siding to the side of positive that this is going to be good. I hope. And well, with that, that's the news for this week. I got no idea how long I've been recording. And yeah, I'm just looking at the time here and yeah, this oh, 12 minutes, cool. Uh, 12 minutes on the clock, by the way. So yeah, um, that's the news for this week, I guess. So let's move on to well, the other cam. Oh no, that's too bright. Okay, so anyway, um, well, let's head on to the next topic. And next topic is what have I been doing with my week? And honestly, this week has been rather interesting. I've seen a movie, and it's a local movie, something that I don't usually watch. Uh, the movie is called. Uh, I'm trying to remember the movie, um, Pusaka, and if I remember right, if Pusaka is translated to English. Um, inheritance, something like that. And the synopsis of the movie is you're a cop transferred into a new town because you have a sister that you want to take care of. But she is, or she's the kind that doesn't want to be taken care of. And also, she has a drug problem, so she's a druggie. And also, uh, you stumble upon a new case where there's a murder case, but somehow supernatural powers are in force or at force, making the whole situation rather complicated. Will the detective solve the mystery of who murdered who? And honestly, like I mentioned before, I usually don't watch local movies just because I'm not a big fan of them. But this one was not bad. This one was not bad. A lot of people praised it a lot. And I would say that the movie was a strong 8 out of 10. It had some funny acting in it. But overall, I say it was not bad. It was not bad. It was a good watch. It was a good watch. Oh, also, um, other than that, um, stuff arrived. I'm guessing if you've seen the video, you'll notice a few things. 
I got Zilla Blackwell's shirt. Yay! Um, saw this in his Twitter post and said to him, Yo, bro, I want that shirt. That shirt's awesome. Let me pay you. No. He gave me the shirt and said, I don't want your money. <laughs> so, guys, if you ever do go to a convention, if you see him, Go buy his stuff. Go buy his merch. He, he he's a great guy. Like I would want to pay for them, but he won't let me pay for him. Ah, uh, never mind. I swear, if I go to the states, I'm going to buy something from him. And I'm going to pay double for whatever I'm going to buy from him. Oh, uh, but other than that, oh that there, oh, I got it. Yay. Um, silver help post it for me like he didn't buy it but he just um mailed it to me and that is just awesome on him and uh, nothing much to say about this one it's the same like what we seen in um, the pictures and also the unboxings but the foiling for this one is not bad it looks great other than that um the oh um they say posters and whatnot. Yeah, um, it's quote unquote a poster, a very strangely sized poster. So you'll get this, and it's not a playmat, by the way. It is not a playmat. It is sized like the box, and I got no idea what you're gonna do with this. You can't even use it as a bookmark, maybe, a normal book. Yeah, no, but probably one of those big books, maybe. But other than that, um, yeah, worth money, money, money well spent. The best twenty dollars I've ever spent. The other thirty dollar goes to the children's um, extra life, the Seattle Children's Hospital. Also good, also good. Other than that, I have not built a deck around them. I got no idea what to do with them for now, so I am just going to take things slowly and decide how I want to play with them. Now I got no idea. Uh, I got no idea. But it's kind of cool. I I do enjoy them. Uh, yep, yeah, still got no idea. But I am interested in building the Twilight Sparkle deck. Yay. Um, I'm not sure if. Oh, there's so much flare. Yeah, so gravity there and stuff. I I like that. I like them. As a fan of ponies and Magic the Good Ring, I, I highly enjoy owning them. They're a lot of fun. So anywho, um, that's the news for this week. And that's what have I been doing with my week. There's nothing much other than that. So anywho, I'm just going to close up or clean up the show. So anyway, uh, if you have any questions, concerns or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Roman Sanzo. Also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date, and Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on live.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, you can no, there's one also. Oh yeah, there, there is one also. I forgot. <laughs> uh, also, please do subscribe in Rails on iTunes and sorry. Also, we do this show called the Review and Discussion Podcast, uh, which is available on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you will catch me, Silver Quill, Torterra, reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, and also specials. And we sometimes like to dabble in other things, like movies and whatnot, maybe video games. And uh, last recording for the folks at home. No, I don't think so. Yeah, recently we did a um, video or a podcast about Disney live action remakes and what we think about it. And it's an interesting talk. You guys should go check it out. But uh, for the future, we did a comic review. Uh, it's the Nightmare Nights one. And funny enough... That one is highly positive. We, we said that it's awesome, but we didn't review the whole thing. There's five chapters or five issues. We only covered the first one. So there's still time for you to go read it, catch up, and enjoy the book. 
we I we we really loved it. The first issue anyway. So yeah, uh go check it out if it's possible and go have fun. Other than that, if you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Amy, Lucky Knight, Master of Lag, Tristan, and also Jeffrey. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and it is my pleasure and honor to entertain you guys at home who are listening to this on the YouTube's iTunes or Stitcher Radio. Thank you so much, guys. I am so honored. And well... I have been Norman Sanzo and I'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode on the show. See ya.